Welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning. I'm the senior taster of whiskey.com and today we have another Glen Caddam here on my cask. It's an American Oak Reserve, 40% ABV, priced slightly above 30 euros, dollars, pounds, wherever you live. And this newest bottling from Glen Caddam is, as the name says, made from American oak casks. And they, of course, says, as always, that these American Oak Reserve cask had been specially created by our master distiller. He hand-selected the very finest bourbon barrels made from American oak in Kentucky, USA. These barrels were then shipped to Scotland, filled with new make Lancadam spirit and carefully placed in Lancadam's historic Dunwich warehouses. So here the first interesting part to be left to silently mature. After a number of years, our master distiller carefully selected the very best barrels to be bottled as Glencadam American Oak Reserve Single Malt Scotch Whiskey. And in this case, I believe in that. Typically, the well-known distilleries, they bottle 100% or close to 100% as single malt whiskies, but Glencadam is a distillery for the blended whiskey industry most of their output goes into blended whiskies and here they select American barrels, American oak barrels for the production and the best one. Um, Glen Caddam has several bottlings. There's a wonderful 10-year-old, there is a 15-year-old, there is another I think it was called Andalusia uh, Reserve, which was a sherry cask matured. And this one now is a 100% American uh, white oak cask, American bourbon cask maturation. And it's bottled at a 40% ABV. So uh, this is headed for the mass market. The price is affordable. And we have a look if the quality uh, fits to the, uh, the advertisement on the bottle. So there's vanilla, there's sweetness, buttercream, light fruitiness. Yeah, this is bourbon cask style, but not too intense. It's not this hefty bourbon style, but this is, well, single malt whiskey from bourbon cask. means that you do not have this maize grain influence, but uh, you have a real maltiness in it, combined with the light vanilla uh, and caramel butter influence from the casks. The fruitiness comes from the distillery character, of course, and there's a little bit of, yeah, a whiny note in the back. Yeah, cheers. Mm -hmm. And then they selected really the right way. They uh, selected the strong casks. So even carrying no age statement, you have a distinct American white oak influence in this. It comes together with spiciness, with mocha, and a little bit of cinnamon peel. Yeah, so the the character is not that American oak as I had expected. It is more. It is much more intense. It's the winey note is softer. There's white grapes coming through, and in the end, peppery, a peppery note in the back. Yeah. So this is for a For a American white oak cast, this is extremely strong. Yeah, more than I expected. 
Thank you very much for watching. Stay tuned. There's as always more to come.